Hello everyone. I got a lot of Christmas songs coming up. I'll be doing a bunch of videos on Christmas songs in the upcoming weeks. Uh, there's two ways to get the complete songs to those. One way is to uh, become a member at webpianoteacher.com and if you're already a member you'll get these songs anyway so <clears throat> they'll be coming to you on the website uh, eventually. And if you don't want to become a member and you still want the complete Christmas songs I will be putting them on DVD so if you'd like some information on how to get some DVDs of these uh, complete Christmas songs, uh, just send me an email at easypianolessons at yahoo.com and I'll give you information on how to get those. Um, this is Silent Night <clears throat> and these are not just you know by the book uh, arrangements. I like to you know you have to keep the the sound of the song. You can't change the chords too much to where it's not recognizable but I like to change the chords a little bit, do a little bit uh, variation on uh, some of the chords and rhythms to uh, give it a nice uh, transcription and uh, <clears throat> you know just a nice sound so here's my arrangement of this song Let's start with right hand on a high F. Here's middle C, here's the F we want. And then we want a low F on the thumb. And that F is not part of the melody, so don't uh, play it too loudly. Keep it soft. Alright. <clears throat> so F, and this F is soft. And then a high G, G, F. And then here we want to play D and F together. Okay, and then this F is again not part of the melody, so play it softer. <clears throat> and then we're going to have A and F together. So the same F up here, but add an A below it. And you need to play it with these two fingers so that you can do an F on the thumb here. And this F again is not part of the melody, so don't play it too loudly. And then back up to G, F. And then we have G, B flat, and D together. Okay, and then we have a D on the thumb here, next to middle C, and it is not melody, so don't play it too loudly. So, or it'll, if you play it too loudly, it'll sound like you're trying to make it part of the melody, and it won't, won't sound right. So, and then this A and B flat, da -da -da, kind of lead into the next measure up here. So, A and then B flat. So, just the right hand, starting here. Left hand we have a B flat, here's middle C, here's the B flat you want, and then stretch for the F. And then we're going to play C and D together with the thumb. Okay? So you just kind of flatten your thumb out and play C and D at the same time. So, like that. That's easier than going and moving. So, okay? And then here we play B flat and F again. And then we play the C. Then the right hand's going to come in with that F, and then you play the D. Then, <clears throat> We're going to go to a D right here, and then up to an A, and then you're going to play an E above middle C right here with your thumb, and then drop down to a low G here, and then a D, then an A above that, and then a B flat above that. You can play the A and the B flat both with your thumb. In fact, I would recommend that. All right, let's put it together on this first line here. Together. Again, that first box. See, I didn't play this too loud. Don't go. Because it interferes. Play it softly. So the F, G, F need to be louder than everything else. Second box. Again. So I played the D loudly and try to keep the other part soft. And notice the F comes in between the two left hand notes. Okay, and then we have this together. The F and the A and the D on the left hand are together. And then the A by itself with left hand. Now the right hand and left hand are going to play the F and the E together. Okay, now that sounds bad if you hit it too loud. So you have to, you know, it's kind of like salt. If you put a little salt on your meal, it's good. If you put way too much, you ruin it. So just a little bit of E and F. Make it sound just right. And then G, F. So this whole measure is... Again. If you play it too loud, you get... 
and it sounds wrong, so. All right, then we have G, B flat, D here. Uh, left hand with the G together, then D, then A, and then the right hand comes in between, and then the left hand plays the B flat. So. Da -da -da -da. Then we're up there. Let me do this box again. Then we're up here, C. Now we're going to play G and D together. And then you're going to change that D to an E flat. And then the high C again. So, bum, bum, bum. Now, this part is not melody. So don't play it too loudly. Because the melody is C, C, A. So, bum. All right, and the left hand is on C and then a G, and then a C. Now if we put that hands together, right here, together, left, and then together right here, and then the E flat's by itself, and then the C. So we have starting at the A and B flat. All right, next box we have E flat and F sharp and A. This is a fully diminished seventh chord. So E flat, F sharp, A, and then uh, the right hand's gonna play D and C. And that D and C is not melody, so not too loud. D, C, and then left hand is going to have a low F sharp down here, and then a D sharp, and then a high F sharp. If we put hands together on that box, we have, again, all right, and then this last measure here. Now, what I did, I got five notes here. If you can't reach that and you have trouble playing all those notes, um, we're going to leave out the B flat if you have trouble. Leave the low B flat out and do the others, okay? But we have B flat, E flat, F, G, and B flat on top. It makes a nice E flat add 9 chord. And you roll it. See the up arrow? Roll it, arpeggiate it. Left hand's on a low E flat and then a B flat and then an F, and then a G. And then the right hand plays a single B flat right here. So this whole box goes again. And I'm rolling the chord a little ahead of, uh, ahead of time, and the B flat on the top is lining up with the E flat on the bottom. So in slow motion, I'm going. See, it's. And then, uh, you know, comes the rest of it. So let me start right here and play this last part for you a little slow. Then we'll have uh, some more after that. So if you like the complete Christmas songs, just send me an email to easypianolessons at yahoo.com and I'll send you some information on that. Hope you enjoy it.